Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 9 Pokemon TCG Booster Packs, 6 Ultra Prism, and 3 Team Up. Team Up, of course, is the newest set in the Pokemon TCG. I did purchase all of these packs from GameStop. The Ultra Prism packs I purchased at their buy one get one free sale. So essentially I paid $2 per pack. And then the team up packs I purchased for $3.99 a piece. So here's a little bit better view of all nine booster packs I'll be opening in this video. I'll start with team up and end the opening with Ultra Prism. Ultra Prism has much more valuable cards in the set. Venusaur and Celebi on the first team up pack here. I have had pretty decent pulls overall from Team Up. I know the booster box that I opened up from Pokemon Breaks. It was a slow start to the booster box opening, but it picked up towards the end. First pack here starts with Ponyard, Alolan Geodude, Mankey, Pancham, Pharaoh Seed, Fighting Type Energy. Really like the new energy design. Electro Charger, a decent item card. Charmeleon. Water Memory, Reverse Hollow of a Pidgey, just a common. And the final card would be a Mr. Mime. Of course, there is a Mr. Mime GX in this set. I have pulled that card from a pack before. Eevee and Snorlax pack now for Team Up. I would say that is probably my favorite regular Tag Team GX from Team Up. Just a big fan of both of those Pokemon. The second pack here starts with Helioptile. Execute, Pharaoh Seed, Meowth, Alolan Geodude, Metal Type Energy, Cosmoem, Hitmonchan, Jasmine, which you can pull as a full art, Reverse Hollow of a Morgan, another trainer card available as a full art. This would be an uncommon. And the final card would be a Pidgeot. Pidgeotto in this set is pretty good. It has a good ability on it. Final team up booster pack here. And then on to Ultra Prism. Looks like I'm going 0 for 3 on the three team up booster packs. I just picked the packs randomly from the shelf at GameStop. Meowth starts the final team up booster pack. Nidoran, Larvitar, Psyduck, Vulpix, Fairy Type Energy, Alolan Graveler, Brock's Grit, Pupitar, Reverse Hollow. I'm an Alolan Executor, there we go. It made the team up packs worth it. This would be a rare. And the final card would be a Starmie. Really do like that Alolan Executor. It works very well in a Shuckle deck. You can also use it with Sceptile. On to the six Ultra Prism Booster Packs now. Would love to pull out one of the two Gold Color GX Full Art Secret Rares or a Cynthia Full Art. All three of those cards are worth around $70. Green colored code card again, you can see that redeem after the Pokemon.com URL. I still could pull a Prism Star card out, those come in the reverse solo slot. Lickitung starts the first Ultra Prism pack. Buizel, Eevee, Salandit, Turtwig, Grass Type Energy, Looker, Yanmega, Perugly, reverse solo of a Scun Tank, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be an Alolan Sand Slash. In my opinion, Ultra Prism is one of the better Sun and Moon series sets, mainly for the competitive scene, but as a collector, like I mentioned, two gold cards that are pretty cool. I believe I have pulled the Lunala from a pack before, have not pulled the Solgaleo. Four and two would be the card trick for the Sun and Moon series sets. A good card to start this pack, Passimian, Salandit, Piplup, I've always been a fan of water type starters. Alolan Diglett. Next up here would be a Riolu. Fairy type energy. Another Looker. Cosmo Omen. You can see that black edge back there. A Prism Star card. Unit energy. Prism Star would be a Cyrus. One of the better Prism Star cards in Ultra Prism. Not bad. And then the final card would be a Cresselia. And this is a rare hollow. You can see that hall foil pattern bleed throughout the entire card there. That actually happens more than you'd think. Personally, I am a big fan of the hall foil cards from some of the Diamond and Pearl series of sets. I know in Secret Wonder specifically, a lot of the 
Hall of Foil cards are the entire card, and that is on purpose. It is not an error card. Another white colored code card here, hopefully something other than a rare haul out. Bronzor starts the pack. Gibble, Garchomp in this set is very good. Pachirisu, Yanma, Murkrow, Water Type Energy, Gardenia, Gabite, Manaphy, Reverse Hollow of an Empoleon, and that is the other featured Pokemon for the theme decks for Ultra Prism. This would be a rare. And the final card would be another rare holo, this time an Infernape. So not bad pulls from Ultra Prism. A lot better than Team Up. Three packs left to go here of Ultra Prism. Leafeon on the cover artwork design here. Back to a green colored code card. Would like to get an Ultra Rare or a Secret Rare. But happy with the card so far. Hippopotas starts this one. Alolan Sandshrew. Drifloon, Glammeow, Carnivine, Water-type Energy, Luxio, Gumshoes, Spiritomb, Reverse Hollow of an Eevee, just a common, and the final card would be a Hippowdon. Duskmane Necrozma on the cover artwork design here, my favorite GX from Ultra Prism. I built a metal acceleration type deck very early on when this set was released. Combine it with Magnezone. It is a very powerful deck. Second to last pack here starts with Execute, Shinx, Pessimian, Salandit, Piplup, Fire Type Energy, Looker, Yan Mega, Palpat, a decent item card, Reverse Solo, of a Salazzle. There we go, another rare. And then the final card would be another Hippowdon. Now it does seem with these GameStop booster packs that I'm pulling a lot of rare holo cards out. I cleaned out a couple of different stores at that buy one get one free sale. You really can't beat the price of only $2 per pack. But the pulls overall really weren't that great. I would much rather buy a booster box. Final pack here starts with Cheruby, Lamio, Snover. Hippopotas, Shinx, Metal Type Energy, Pokemon Fan Club, Gabite, Monferno, Reverse Hollow of a Lickalicky. So another rare Reverse Hollow. And then the final card, I'm assuming another rare Hollow. It would be a Shaman. So I can summarize my polls now. Lots to summarize from only nine packs. Not anything too spectacular, however. So out of the nine total packs, I was able to pull out four rare reverse solo. Lickalicky, Salazzle, Empoleon, which I was very happy to pull, and a Lolan Executor, same goes for this card. And then I was able to pull out three rare holo, Cresselia, Infernape, and Shaman. And then probably the best pull would be the Cyrus Prism Star. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.